Hey everybody, thanks for joining. Welcome to String Games with Soleil. I am Soleil, my camp name, uh, and I am very excited to share one of my favorite camp activities with you throughout these series. Uh, and that is the cat's cradle or string figures. So what you're gonna need is a string. So you might have a cat's cradle string from camp from another session or from somewhere else, or you can just use any piece of string. So I've got some examples here, even a piece of yarn will work. Um, so for something like yarn or out of cotton, you're just gonna take the uh, string and you can measure it out. Um, it says about between 48 to 60 inches is kind of the length, it depends on how tall and how big your hands are. So another way of doing it is to take the string and you loop it around, your, down to your elbow and up to your wrist and you do that twice you might have a little bit of an extra and then you're going to tie the ends together so however whatever kind of knot you want to do um, is an option tie them together you can cut off the uh, strand the end below the knot and you have created a loop this one's a little bit tricky to see it's a little bit thin um, here I prefer, this is, uh, this is called rat tail, three millimeter rat tail cord. Um, there's lots of other cord. This is kind of a paracord string that we have. Um, and the main thing is that if you get one that's synthetic, so synthetic ends, you can actually take a little tea light candle and melt the ends together. So get an adult to help you. Um, and you would just get a tea light, little candle, melt the ends till they're kind of look sticky and hot and then you stick them together, let them cool for a second and then you can take a cloth and you rub it together and that will actually create an um, end. It's pretty hard to see in that one, it's about the same color so that's how I prefer it. Um, and as I said, there's lots of different lengths you can do. Uh, some string tricks even actually require longer strings or shorter strings. Uh, but for the most part, kind of a standard standard loop will do about, as I said, 48 inches is kind of the standard length. Uh, I like it a little bit longer, but um, totally up to you. So get your string. We'll get started. Um, string games are very old. Very, It's one of the oldest uh, recorded uh, games, essentially, that were played with uh, kids. There's lots of stories and history behind some of the strings. So we're going to do a number of different tricks throughout this series. And I'm really excited to get going. So I'm going to switch the camera around and we're going to get started with just a couple basic openings um, that you'll see throughout the series and then once you have your string you can get started on the other videos and we will make some figures. All right. All right now that we have our string whatever material colors uh, length that we have we're going to get started. I'm going to show you some of the openings that we'll be using throughout the series and you'll be ready to start learning figures. Uh, so take our string, take our loop. We're going to put it on our thumbs and on our pinkies. So you can go ahead on both hands, thumbs and pinkies, pull out. And that is what we call position one. Uh, so there are a few tricks that start out this way. So it's a common position, position one. And you can stay in position one. And now we're going to go into opening A, which is another very common one you'll see uh, in a number of string tricks. And for the most part, it, it generally doesn't matter if you start with your left or your right hand. I'm left-handed, I often start with my left. Um, sometimes it'll matter and I'll, I'll let you know when we start the string trick, but we'll start with the right. So we're gonna take our index finger, we're gonna go across and go underneath uh, behind the palm string, which is a straight string that goes across and pull it back towards my other hand. Now I'll take my left hand, go across in between the index loop, pick up that straight one, pull straight back, and there we have opening A. So I'll do that again from the scratch. So on our thumbs and pinkies, thumb and pinky, position one, and then we have go under and across, grab the straight one and back, and we have opening A. So here we go. You can practice that one a few times, get the hang of it. Uh, and before we leave today, you know, I thought I'd at least show you one one trick. So you're gonna grab your string and you're gonna you can stand up tall You can hold it up uh, above the ground and then just gently let go and We have the puddle Put them That's a popular one at camp you can every time every time you make a puddle It'll be a different shape different size. So, you know, you can have some fun with that uh, and then 
now that you have your string, you're ready to get started. So check out some of our other videos. We'll have some beginner string figures as well as some uh, more advanced ones as we go along and you can follow along and learn some string tricks. Thanks for watching everybody and hope to see you next time. Bye.